Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. I hope that everyone woke up feeling blessed and ready to take on the day. I'm on my way to work. I'm, I'm doing a little better in the mornings only because I'm choosing to go into work now a little later because I realized that my body needed more rest. I did not go to sleep. <laughs> I did not go to bed last night until 2 o'clock in the morning. And honestly, that is normal. I barely, I rarely, really ever get to bed at a decent time. Only because my husband likes to, um, my neighbor's on. Only because my husband likes to sit up and talk and he likes me to watch TV with him. And I like to, honestly, I like to do it because the kids are asleep and we have uh there's some more intimate time between us where we can actually really talk and think and just have like no interruptions so that's good but um yeah so i'm on my way to work <laughs> i tried to do a vlog last night i don't know if you guys if, if anyone watches it <laughs> i thank you for watching it uh let me know how you thought it was or maybe it was it's something very simple i was just trying to just see what it was like um i guess it was okay my daughter she helped me edit it because i have no idea how to do any of that stuff but i will i'll be learning slowly but surely um i i think i mentioned in a past video that when i record videos and post them that I don't go back and watch them. I don't rewatch them. I don't. I record the video. I post it, and that's that. However, me and my daughter, we were uh, going through my YouTube, and she were just um, not watching the videos, but just because I didn't realize that <laughs> a couple people, hey, hallelujah, uh, did comment on some of the videos. Maybe it was one person, two people, um, and I don't. Since I don't go back and rewatch my videos, I don't even look at those videos. And I don't know if I got comments or not, or if anybody said anything on them. I thought maybe I would get a um, notification or something in my email, but I haven't received a notification. And some of those videos are so old, I, I'm so sorry. But um, the one, I'm not gonna mention his name, but I posted, I think two videos mentioning the name of somebody, and I'm not gonna mention his name again, because I don't want it to seem like I'm trying to get views off of his name, because I'm not. One thing I'm going to say, is that when God puts it on my heart to release something, when God gives me a word about somebody and tells me to share that word, I'm going to be obedient to the word of God, no matter what anyone says and what anyone thinks. I know how my father speaks to me. I know how he reveals things to me in dreams. So there's no way I'll be moved or shaken from anything that I say unless God convicts me and tells me that I got it wrong or that I need to remove it because I'm here to please God, not man. So I'm always gonna be loyal to what my father is telling me to do regardless. He has already prepared me <laughs> for the opposition. Um, you guys, um, this YouTube channel was definitely not my idea. If you know me, you would know that is definitely true. God placed this on my heart, not even on my heart, he literally showed me um, a few years ago. And then, that this is what he wanted me to do and he even came back and he would show me like steps because it wasn't just okay I want you to start a YouTube channel go do it now no it was I'm preparing you to start this YouTube channel and so he was letting me know when the time was right so I wasn't moving without his direction and I'm never sorry guys it's right we got some sun this morning hey I'm never gonna move without his direction never and so um, my, my, I'm trying my best to stay in the will of God and to do what he tells me to do and that's all I can do um, I'm not going to be swayed or moved by people's negative comments. Some people are really harsh and mean, but I know that those are the spirits because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So one thing you will not see me out here doing is one, you're not going to see me out here defending anything that I release um, spiritually because the Lord is my defense and he, you know, he, he fights my battles. And two, I'm not going to be debating. Three, I'm, I'm just not good. I'm not that type of person. So I'm not going to let that move me. And honestly, like the opinions of people who don't know me don't bother me. It would have bothered me a long time ago, 
it don't bother me anymore because I, a long time ago I had low self esteem and I was always concerned about what people thought about me and it was always a thing like you know but I really don't care anymore you know what I'm saying because God has changed me and he has strengthened me and he has given me tougher skin so I'm going to continue to release whatever he puts it on my heart to release if, if he gives me a specific word for someone it will get released and if um, people decide to get on here and be negative and you know try to the demons try to come up in the comments the witches and the warlocks try to come up in the comments they will be deleted blocked or however you do it I deleted a lot of comments last night off of that video because some people are just ignorant you know what I'm saying like <laughs> And um, the disdain for this person is ridiculous. Like, it's really sad. But he has a lot of persecution. And that's why God blesses him and continues to bless him the way that he does. And, and anyone out there who is facing a lot of persecution just enough because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're doing what God told you to do. Because the world, didn't, they didn't like Jesus. They didn't accept Jesus. And they're not going to accept us. They're not going to like us. If they hated him, they're going to hate us. That's what the word says. So... Just prepare yourself for it. I see so many people, and I feel so bad. Excuse me, guys. My son says I feel so bad when I see some so many people out here with a really good heart, really just trying to. I don't know. Some people are trying to do YouTube as a career. Some people are doing it as a way to just keep track of family memories, or I don't know, whatever their ultimate goal is for YouTube. You know, they're they're taking a, a chance. Come on, squirrel, move! Oh my gosh, boo! They're taking a chance. You know what I'm saying? Putting their, you know, business out there, putting their lives out there for the world to see. And I can watch these videos and they're not doing nothing wrong. They are living their daily lives. Everyone is different. Everyone lives their lives differently. We raise our kids differently. We take care of our homes differently. We move differently. So I don't understand the criticism that some people get like, oh, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. Listen, it's my life. I'm going to do what I want unless you got, and you ain't got, so you have no right to, or no authority to dictate my life, so I'm going to live my life according to how my life works for me, and I feel so bad when I see people in there, and they're defending themselves, and they're getting on there, leaving videos, trying to, you know what I'm saying, these vouchers, they're going to keep coming, these demons, they're going to keep coming, these people who are jealous, they're going to keep coming, a lot of people up here leaving comments, some negative comments on people's pages, and they know that they don't have it all together. You know what I'm saying? But we just pray for those people. We pray for our enemies. So anyone who gets on my YouTube channel and they have something negative to say or they don't agree with me and you don't have to agree with me. You know, we are different. We have different minds. We're not made to agree with each other. You know, that's what makes us different. But um, I'm just going to pray for you. I'm just going to bless you. And I'm going to pray for you because that's what the word tells me to do. That's the direction of my God. So that's all I have to say about that um, <laughs> um, I'm really surprised honestly that some people are really I think so many people are just into gossip you know what I'm saying like or they just into like something they, I don't like this person and just the title you know can, can get a whole bunch of people to watch a video you know what I'm saying all because they don't like a person it's crazy because as long as they think that it's something negative they're gonna flock to it right if it's something positive about a person oh 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 you know what i'm saying like what you know what I'm, <laughs> you know what i'm saying like what like what what is the problem you know what i'm saying but you know this world is an ugly world this world is um led by the devil and you got a lot a lot of his children uh here trying to i don't know I don't know what they're trying to do, but I pray for the deliverance in the name of Jesus that they'd be delivered from their wicked ways and from their evil minds and that they will see the true love in God and seek his face and kindness and seek to live their lives as closely to Jesus as possible because you can't tell me that you are a man, a woman of God, and you are putting your tongue on another person the way that you do. You can't tell me that. You can't tell me that because that's not Christ-like. That's not what Jesus did. So... How you talking about you a follower of Christ, but yet you out here acting like the world. That's called being a hypocrite. We supposed to love our neighbors, pray for our haters. <laughs> and that's what that's that's how we move. That's what we do. You know, um, who was it? It was my son, my ten year old. He's about to be eleven, I can't believe it, but honestly I cannot remember what he had asked me. 
He asked me something. Can't remember exactly what it was. And I told him straight up. We pray. We pray for our neighbors. I mean, for, for our enemies. We pray for people like that so that they will, they will change. And we bless them because that's what God tells us to do. You know, you know, I'm not just saying it. I'm, I'm living by it. You know what I mean? Like, but I'm, that's all. I've been talking about that for 10 minutes. So I'm going to drop it right there and leave it right there. Um, I'm not a perfect person. And I don't always get it right. And I thank the Lord for discipline. I thank the Lord for convic conviction. And I thank the Lord for correction. Because we don't always get it right. But I do know how God speaks to me. I do know how he communicates with me. And I do know when he's telling me to do something. All right? And I do know when he shows me. All right? And one thing about walking with God and having a strong spirit is, one, is, listen, people, the, the enemy will give you dreams and visions just like God will give you dreams and visions. Your job is to make sure your spirit is at a point to where it's strong enough to recognize the lies of the enemy. So you need to be able to recognize when the dream or the vision is from the devil and when it's from God. And sometimes we're not as close to God as we should be. We slack a little bit in our walk with him by not fasting and not being in our Bibles enough and not praying enough. And so our spirits get weakened. They get weaker. You know what I'm saying? And then that allows room for the devil to come in. You know what I'm saying? And now you got the spirit of confusion. So the devil might be giving you dreams and, the enemy, and God might be giving you dreams, but you don't know which is which. That's why you have to go to God and you have to say, okay, Lord, is this dream from you? You know what I'm saying? I have posted a video a while ago about how I felt about a certain um, man of God. And um, my, my, my opinion and my view still stands. My niece tried to send me a video um, with this guy preaching the message about something. And I just told her, you know what, I don't watch him. I didn't tell her why I don't watch him. I just told her I don't watch him because, you know, that's for us to to seek out for ourselves you know what i'm saying that's for her to seek out for herself if he's a true man or god or not you know so i know what god showed me however i did not repost the video yet because god haven't given me the direction to repost the video yet you know what i'm saying even though i know in my heart that because of how this man speaks and what he says that he twists he twists the gospel and it sounds good because he's very um he's um what's the word I'm looking for convincing yeah yeah so like I mean if you don't know the word and you don't read the bible then you're gonna be like wow this is deep or because when I very first started watching him he drew me in and then as a, the more I started listening to him I'm like wait a minute this is not lining up and he's twisting this and I don't sound right and that ain't sitting right with me and you know what I'm saying like and I just took it to God in prayer and I asked God to show me. And that's what, come on, are you freaking serious? Uh, you guys, I cannot stand when these semi-trucks pull out in front of you and think that they got time to turn. Like, God, you did not have time to turn. Make me have to slow down. But um, I'd rather slow down than get in the accident. But um, yeah, so I took it to God. And I asked God to, for the revelation, Lord, please reveal to me if this man is a man of God. Should I listen to him? Should I watch him? Is he true? You know what I'm saying? And God revealed that truth to me that same exact night. You know what I'm saying? By a dream that he gave me. And um, that's what we always have to do. Even with myself. Like, y'all don't have to listen to me. Y'all really don't. I'm not God. I ain't perfect. And I don't say everything right. And I don't do everything right. You know what I'm saying? But it's your job to go to God. And like, hey God, give me the 411 on Yolanda. Give me the... Let me know if she's a true woman of God. Is she really doing your will? Is she really doing your work? Is she really someone that I should be watching? And that God will know the truth to you because God is not a man that he should lie. He's going to give you the truth and he's going to answer you. You know what I'm saying? All you have to do is ask. But the problem is that people want to be so busy judging and they want to watch a video and they want to be able to tell you about your whole life and what you're not and what you are from watching a the video. They don't even have a relationship with God. They don't even pray. They don't even fast. They don't even worship. They don't even go to God. And ask God to show them and give them direction. They just speaking out their mouth. They just speaking out their flesh. They just, we can't stay out of this world. You know what I'm saying? Like people who are in Christ, you gonna seek the guidance of God before you do anything. And that's some period, for real. Because when you don't, you get yourself in a big old mess. But um, that's all I really wanted to say. I'm just ranting. I guess that's what they call it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's too early in the morning. It's too early. I am a morning person. You guys will see. I'm, 
I'm a morning person and then I get about a two, a two o'clock slump. That's why I try to make sure I'm off work by two o'clock or before two o'clock. Not off work completely, but at home because I get a, I go from being up here to being real quick. <laughs> and I remember I used to work, um, I used to work in the office, kind of like it was, I was like 50, 50, actually probably about 60% on the road, 40% uh, in the office. But when the days where we had to sit in the office all day, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It was so hard for me to stay awake after two o'clock. I'm like, oh my, and it just seemed like the time just was dragging. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Sometimes it seems like the time drags here. You have you have your days, you know, we all do. But um, the gratification you get from working with people, especially people who don't have anyone else. This, oh, yes, you guys, I want to just encourage you. If you have watched this video, I thank you so much. But I just want to encourage anyone who comes across this video. If you have a family member, oh, my Lord Jesus, praise God. If you have a family member who is in a long-term care facility, who is in assisted living, a nursing home, if you have a grandma, a auntie, a cousin, a family friend, if you have anyone who resides in these facilities, please, 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 please check on your people. Please go see your people. Please, uh, then go up there for an hour, see, uh, see how they doing. Because I'm telling you guys, um, I have, I think I worked in a nursing home a long, long, long time ago. I was like 17 years old, I was still in high school. And I worked in a nursing home and um, I worked there for two days and two days was all I needed, okay? I uh, quit and never went back, and that was how that was. So, the, my job I do, I do right now, we're contracted through the nursing facility. I do not work for this nursing home. We're contracted through this nursing home. And the things that I see here, and it's not just me, the things that we all see here by working here, how they, how they treat the residents, um, from the way they talk to them, what they feed them. You get angry because you see it but yet there's not much you can do about it you know they call the state they call you know it's people it's people that's supposed to be checking on these people like some of them have guardians they don't ever see their guardians these guardians do not know what these people are going through and then if the guardians do come up here they talk to the social workers not to the the residents but um i just encourage you because i'm gonna tell you right now unless it's like a private facility or just like a really really good facility yeah, people are not doing well. They're not. It's a lot of depression. It's a lot of anxiety. It's a lot of suicidal ideation. A lot of people who don't want to live. They come here. I've seen people come here like joyous and um, just very outgoing. And then the next thing you know, they're walking around like zombies. It don't take long for them to be conformed to their surroundings because of the depression, because of the spirits that's in here. That's why I always pray before I go in here. I always take time to sit in my car and just pray and ask God to walk before me, beside me, and behind me to cover me so that nothing in here will attach itself to me. But honestly, it don't make it easy. It don't make it easy, guys, because you're working with an older population of people and they're, you know, you know, they're sick. A lot of them are really sick. I had a, a resident, she told me um, that someone told her that this is a place where you come to die. And that just hurt my heart. It did. Because even if that's the truth, even if that is the... And somebody, I, someone else told me too, and another person told me the same thing. Why would you tell them that? You know what I'm saying? Why would you tell somebody that? But I understand a lot of these people that's been working in these facilities for so long have... They just... They become numb to everything. So, I mean... It's hard. It's hard because we come in and we try to advocate and we try to fight for them and make sure they're being treated fairly. And the staff don't like us. They feel like we're nosy. We're always in the business. But we got to do what we get paid to do. You know what I'm saying? If ain't nobody fighting for these people, then we got to fight for them. That's what we're here for. We ain't, we ain't here for entertainment. But um, that's all I wanted to say. I pray that you all have a blessed day, a prosperous day. I plead the blood of Jesus upon your day, and I cancel the plans of the enemy on your day or your night, whatever time you watch this video. I thank you all for watching my videos. If anyone chooses to subscribe to this channel, I thank you so much. Um, I promise you guys that things are going to get better as I learn more about YouTube and how to navigate YouTube and 
you know, my daughter's giving me lessons on how to do certain things. So, I mean, it'll evolve. I ain't in no rush, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, this is something that God has called me to do. So I want it to be the best because we have to do everything that we do to be pleasing unto God. However, it's not a source of, like, like I'm not trying to make this a livelihood, if you know what I'm saying. Like, however, however God takes it, he, the, his will be done, you know, not mine. So I'm with it. Whatever God say, that's what it is. Like he, I'm his ride or die. I, I ride for God and I die for God. And that's how it is. So, but I just want to thank you guys. I pray that you guys are blessed. And I, I do. You are loved by God. He loves each and every one of you. And I pray that if you are not saved, that you will give your life to Christ. That you will, um, that you will see that he is a real God. He is a true God and that he loves you and that he wants you to be saved. And he wants to protect you from the things of this world, the things that are evil. He wants to protect you from a, your soul being condemned to hell. You know what I'm saying? And I really pray that anyone who has had a negative experience due to hypocrites, due to false teachers and false preachers, due to people lying about the gospel, fornicating the gospel, I really pray that you will give God, give him a chance. Let him work. Let him show you who he is. Because he is a real God. He is a true God. And when you open up your heart to him and he reveals himself to you, it's undeniable. It's undeniable. But um, I thank you guys for, again, for watching this video. And I pray that you will continue to come back as I release more content. And um, I don't want to um, put myself in a box. And started trying to be like people that I watch because that's not what I want to do I heard the Holy Spirit speak to me yesterday because I was thinking about oh I want to vlog I should do this I should do that he told me don't try to be like them you know so I'm not going to try to be like them I'm going to do whatever he puts on my heart to do and whatever I felt comfortable doing that he allows me to do you know because it is he who knows the plans that he has for us you know we make the plans, but he orders our steps. So I might be planning, oh, I'm going to do a video like this. And God's like, uh -uh, no, you're not. You're not going to do that video. And so I'm like, okay, I'm not. Because <laughs> my job is to be obedient to the will of God. But um, I pray that you all have a good day, a blessed day, a safe day. Stump in the devil's head today. Worship today. Pray today. And I'm going to start start challenging myself. Um, I don't want to say on the New Year, because around the New Year's, I challenge myself always around the New Year to read my Bible in a year. It's just something I've been doing for the last two years. But I do want to challenge myself to read my Bible in a year. But I want to make sure that I'm reading it effectively. So honestly, it might not even be a year. I might take longer because I really want to, like I, I was telling you guys yesterday in the video, like I don't want to just read to read. I want to read to know. I don't want to just look at the words and say, um, the Lord is my light and my salvation and just be, oh, the Lord is my light. And my... No, I want to know why the Lord is my light and my salvation. Okay, Lord, you are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just read the words off the paper. I want to get a deeper meaning. I want to study the word. So I'm going to challenge myself to do that. That is what I'm going to challenge myself to do coming into 2023 is to read my Bible. And uh, I'm not going to say in a year because it may take longer than a year because of what how i want to do it but i challenge you all instead of making a new year's resolution to lose weight instead of making a new year's resolution oh i'm gonna stop doing this i'm gonna stop doing that make a make a make a plan make a goal for yourself to read the bible it don't be have to be the whole bible it can be one book of the bible it could be maybe five it could be reading the new testament or reading the old testament like challenge yourself to get into the word of god because it helps us to develop discipline it opens us up more spiritually and it brings us closer to our father because those are his true living words all right shalom